I hate this fucking cocksucker. I hate this DA. Oh, look, you see the view. Fuck you. It's about you being violent. Just because I'm a bodybuilder and just because I'm a Marine. I gotta show how little my dick is by being a DA. I dated a public defender. I know how big his Polish cock was. <laughs> he was quite the pole. <laughs> his name was Gibby Joe the Pole. <laughs> I loved that big old Polak. So I go to work out. He's the one who spread my erotica like peanut butter all over the internet. Hoping that I'm found innocent at the most voluntary manslaughter. After just three days of deliberation, the jury in the Sally McNeil murder trial has reached three days. The North County bodybuilder has been free on bail since she shot her husband more than a year ago. Phoebe Chong Chua joins us. But now she's in jail. Now she going to prison cause she's a bad bitch. If you had done this even, I wonder what would have happened. Would even Rachel would be? <laughs> Dolores? No, it would have been some other kind. No, I wish he would have killed that bastard. Sally McNeil is guilty of second degree murder. Could you imagine Dolores? Dolores wouldn't put up with that shit. Sally McNeil was found guilty of second degree murder. Good morning, anybody. Is the intent to kill someone unlawfully. There is no reasonable provocation for the killing. There is no excuse and no justification. Excuse me, he had five different steroids. That's bullshit. Oh yeah, she chose it. She chose. I was sentenced to 19 years to life. Wow. I was going to get taken away from my kids and never see them again. It's like I was killed anyway. They lost their mother anyway. Yep, that's my son. He doesn't care. Meant to me, Go I ask him. My mom back. It was hard. It was. It was. A child needs their parents. Oh, not my kid. I had a feeling she was gonna go to prison. He decided to fuck off his mother and. Let her think that was okay and leave a brain damaged woman to her own devices. I really surprised. Not that she didn't get off, but that she got the kind of time that she got. You know, like. Yep, I'm getting the kind of time I need. Time off. Spend the rest of her life in jail. No time off for good behavior. I miss him. I miss his friendship. I miss talking to him. I just miss him. Period. I miss you, boy. It just, it's just sad. It brings back some bad memories. It's just tragic. It's tragic what your grandparents have done to you. We saw both sides of the story. So, you know, we we really felt that they just should have just... They should have been parents instead of being those fucking assholes that they were. I arrived. State I've for women got two on kitty the cats. 1996. And I'm getting rid of these fucking dogs. Because it's a lot easier to bend over and clean up cat shit than it is to take a dog country, outside and make sure it away. shits where it belongs and then cleaning it up. Being in prison Just like having a teenager and cleaning up his shit. You can't expect a lot from your family. You can't make big demands because they have a life to live out there. My mom used to bring the children out once a year in July when they were on vacation from school. Those annual visits Oh my God, she was so me. short. It was really hard. It was hard leaving, you know. And it may not have been a right decision, but we ended up not going anymore. Because I had to explain to friends that I was going to California to see my mom in prison. 
and I hated letting people know that my mom was in prison because then you have to explain everything in your life and where you're living with your grandparents. And it was just easier for me to tell them that. I was oh, it's my just family. easier for me to not enjoy said. my story of what something? I've written myself in those chapters of my Sean mother's Tina's life. I miss Sean Tina's graduation. Yep, gonna miss, miss that graduation. He took third place in the state wrestling meet in California. Then I miss him graduating high school and going to his Yep, prom. gonna miss that. All those things that I've missed. Oh, well. At least you're not I'm missing him, boy. At least you don't get to miss I, him. I At least it's your grandparents child. making sure you have that in that your life. She didn't have my sister and I in mind when she pulled the trigger. And then I didn't speak to my mother for a while while she was in jail. And I wish I would have been there more for my mother. I just kept hoping after she was sentenced that, you know, maybe they'll let her do five years and they'll let her out. Maybe they'll let her do 10 years and they'll let her out. And then I just stopped hoping. I just didn't think they were ever gonna let her out. I've gone through five parole board hearings since 2011. The first time- That's I bullshit. Got denied because they said, you are not a batter woman. Would you like to see my so, MMP last time I went to the parole board, I had to say it was my intention to kill my husband. Like as though he never abused me or beat me or broke my bones or choked me. And there's no and evidence. You're me. too beautiful. And you I can't get outside. For what I did. You have to be responsible. I'm sure you'll interview her. I'm sure she's going to say she didn't do anything wrong. Yes. I'm sure that I'm going to be the cocksucker that that's going to tell you that I didn't know Ray... He and didn't. I didn't know his narcissistic rage fits. He, she was not and justly that, convicted, you fucking show. cocksucker. Do I think That's that right, you're out of the show. Murder, you're out of the picture. You got You I just a blip in history. I actually don't think Sally's sentence would be any different today. I see women 25, 30 years later after Sally's case who are getting equally long sentences. We're better now at protecting victims than we used to be, but there's a lot more we can No do. shit. I just feel badly. Just like we can protect we children. Media, me included. Protect children from American having people. children. Who was Sally McNeil? Make these she really dumb Catholic, fucking teenagers having kids. Steroids. Make when those shows a thing in the past. Look what we used to make children do. Really? Yeah. Look what we did to fuck up their reproductive system. 25 years in prison. That's some battered woman syndrome for you. That's some PTSD. Congratulations, here's your first McDonald's. Oh, yes. Oh, congratulations. I know that feeling. I know that feeling well. I know that feeling well in Russia. <laughs> when I first got out, I lived at the VTC. Those two treatments. The VTC is the Veterans Transitional Center. They welcome us back to society. Give us homeless vets a place to stay at the VTC. Okay. I have a job in a warehouse. I can make my own money. Why didn't you Nobody's go to college while you were in school? Sleep. Life is good. Oh, I don't get beat on every Freedom 15 minutes, sleep. so I get used to it. And hear beeping noises all night because that's what they do to you and Jay. Gotta tune out them vaping noises. Gotta the tune out. My mom was in 2004. She's been in prison for 25 years. So when I was your age, wow. she's my mom. She's a grandmother. You know, I want her to watch her grandchildren. You know, but those are the things. She's entitled to everything. Oh, no, I'm not me. I'm not she's deserved. 
I'm not entitled. I don't deserve nothing from my boy. And that that right goes to a thunder cunt named Heather Rachi who's never going to talk to my son again. Oh my God. <laughs> You're going to be so sad about that. Not me. Oh my God. That's what you get for getting that judge to do an EPO against me for three years. Surprise, watch me get one for life. It doesn't matter if we're not talking. I can, I'm still your fucking mother, boy. And I can still get another birth certificate, you dumb little bastard. I don't understand why you needed a, my birth certificate except to... Make sure I didn't have one. <laughs> You're so stupid. You're such a dumb little boy. I'm your mother. I'm changing your name to Karen Cassius Clay. And my unit didn't know about it. I could never understand why my mom didn't know about it. And I'm suing you. I'm suing Heather Rachi. For stealing you, for turning you against me because she yeah. knew I would go nuts. I was that she thing. knew what was going on and it's she did her best to make sure I went nuts. In the same scenario that I found myself in. And what I chose to do A widow. Was Just because she missed her friend that she wanted to thick her bean to when she was uh, growing up. Don't think and I don't know. Friend. She probably went to one of his soccer games and watched him flip that ball back into play when Tawny wouldn't even show up, that fucking cunt. I just focus on my son. That's the only man in my life that I need to take care of. My mom's not a bitch. Yes, she is. She was a bitch to your brother. I dream about seeing my son, John. He's living down in Texas. I call him about once or twice a week. My relationship is really good with my mother right now, but I haven't got a chance to visit her because I've been to drug and alcohol treatment and for treatment for combat PTSD. Oh, that sucks. I had five combat tours <coughs> in Afghanistan. Damn. I had deployed so much and I had fought so much that I just mentally couldn't do it no more. I got out and I just fell into drug addiction. I had a wonderful life. She took care of me in every way. I was very bad to her. It's one of the biggest regrets I have in my life. Yeah, especially when they did. The fighting growing up as a kid. Between five combat Especially toys, when you think that's what you grew up thinking violence. that's normal. Because that's how your parents teach you. Every Wednesday, we go to our support group program at the VTC and talk about <coughs> our experience in prison. And um, I met Too bad I didn't here. make that boy go talk to other people, and I other kids, so he would have friends that knew what it was like to lose their dads instead of a pedophile. Trying to be in control of me, he lets me be me. Time is talking. That you only get one special gem in your life. My no, initial you don't. fear was I would be too impulsive. Sometimes you get so two. Like, we have to date for Sometimes a long time you get three. Anything serious comes Sometimes you get both. I knew to take it slow. Sometimes you, you get a whole pearl of like <laughs> wisdom around your neck. <laughs> they were more nervous for him than me. Stuart and I have a future together, and we're going to get married. I'm happy that my mother's getting remarried. She's missed 26 years of her life. It's time she's missed with her family, life experiences, oh, look at that. intimacy with another man. Five and years of my life. Found a lover. <laughs> I don't want. I love her, I don't deserve but a I'm sentence happy of 19 years to life. To have a roommate. I want to do an appeal on what happened, but I'm just so happy I'm, I'm free. 
I don't care anymore. I'm free. That's how my neurosurgeon wants me to be. Oh, you should be happy you're all free now. You should be happy you're right with the world. No, I'm not. I'm not happy I lost seven years of my life with my son. Oh, there's her son. He's so beautiful. Oh my God, what a beautiful bride. Look at that. Look at that. What a beautiful bride. Take me in the North Fleet. Take me in the North Fleet. To be my wedded husband. Be my wedded husband. She's still, look at her arms. she got some flabby arms there. She don't have them big old pythons. Hold on, man, because this might take a while. <laughs> I like the Bolero jacket. That's a perfect jacket to go. Cover up them arms. Got to cover up them arms. He had them big guns, and then he didn't, and then they all got slapping in the wind like everybody's got them bat wings. <laughs> Thank God them women quit doing that. That's all about that HGH now. I should be getting it in the mail any day. Thank God for that, because I want to wake back up. Get my joints back I'm to where they should be. The oh, yes. Let's plug into the mainframe. Let's plug into the mainframe. Yes, 